Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. Now, again, I will be hoping I can make at least a full amount of videos, but with with between the crunch time I have with all the stuff that I have to do today, it will be difficult. So I apologize for that. But I will go back to my normal schedule tomorrow because I won't have so much stuff powered up. So without further ado here, ladies and gentlemen, we have this here to where uh, California lawmakers vote to end travel ban to states with anti LGBTQ plus laws. Now, this does not mean, you know, with, you know, people cannot, people cannot go because because rightfully I don't think California has the ability to um, ban actual people from going to it. But what it says, California lawmakers have voted to end a ban on state funded travel to states with anti LGBTQ plus laws. So we're going to go over here. It's here. Uh, it says California may soon lift a ban on state-funded travel states to with to states with anti lgbtq laws, and instead focus on an advertising campaign to bring an anti-discrimination message to red states. So, so as we can see here, uh, so that just goes to show that this is <laughs> uh, uh, not going good because it seems that even the people that are in California, this shithole state, this place being running into the ground by the worst governor the state has ever had, along with horrible uh, Soros-backed uh, DAs that are ru ruining our state into the bloody ground, uh, they're now on to trying to uh, focus on other me fucking on other ways. And because people are tired of it. People are leaving this state. It is not a good state. And it's just insane. And YouTube, by the way, hi, how are you going? I know you're a dog shit platform, but hey, here's the thing. YouTube is trying its very hardest to silence and remove people that are going against the agenda, against the qu the quota, quota, right? It is uh, quite obvious of what they're trying to do. They did this for California insiders to where they got demonetized and prevented them from actually being able to make any kind of money because, you know, uh, they're speaking too much truth about, oh, little California. Well, guess what? They're not going to stop us all. And by sooner or later, when we do take over, we'll make sure we have harsh repercussions for, for YouTube and their horrible overlords that are obviously, I think, violating the First Amendment in every way. We have this as well. California starting is, uh, has started banning official travel to, to states with laws it deemed discriminatory against LGBTQ plus people in 2017. Starting with Kansas, Mississippi, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Since then, the list has grown to include a total of 26 states, most of them Republican-led, following a surge of anti-LGBTQ plus uh, legislation these past few years. Which, of course... They are all... No, it's not, it's not most. It's all of them that are Republican-led. Because we know that a lot of these states are Republicans going against, you know, preventing, uh, you know, biological men to enter a woman's bathroom and do horrible things to them. Because we all know that's the reason why they, they, they put this in. So, they're banning people from going to a state, the lawmakers and all that stuff, because of the mere fact of... It, it it hurts them. They don't want them to know the truth and the reality of oh, what's all going on in those specific states. And they are also banning it due to also political reasons. It's not due to anything else other than just, just political. And if you are red, then, well, guess what? You can't go to your state anymore. And that's what's disgusting. If you're a political person, you are banned from going there or what have you. It's just absolutely asinine in every way possible. The prohibition has prevented elected officials, state workers, and university scholars from traveling to more than half of the country using the state's money. That has posed a significant challenge to sports teams at public colleges and universities, which have had to find alternative funding sources to pay for their road games in states like Arizona and Utah. It has also complicated some of the state's other policy goals, like using state money to pay for people who live in other states to travel to California for abortions. California lawmakers and the state uh, assembly on Monday passed legislation to end the travel ban. The bill introduced by State Senate Leader Tony Atkins would also establish an outreach and advertising campaign in states on the travel ban list to promote LGBTQ plus messages. Atkins, who is a lesbian, and said the travel ban has helped raise awareness about any about many anti LGBTQ plus issues, but has also led to unintended consequences. Exactly. 
Uh, it's not anti-LGBTQ issues, by the way. It has nothing to do with that. Because, as you can see, when people go to those states, they get to see the reality of what's happening there. You, again, you people are so scared. You're so frightened of us that you have to do go to drastic measures to... to, uh... to... To keep yourself in control, right? It's just that obvious. In many instances, the travel ban has inadvertently caused California to isolate its services, anxious citizens, at a time when we are leading the nation in ensuring exclusivity and freedom. Yeah, said Democratic Assembly member Rick Zibber, the former executive director of the advocacy group Equality California. With nearly 500 and anti LGBTQ bills having been introduced in legislators nationwide this year alone, now more than ever we need to reach in those communities with semester support, exclusivity, and understanding. It's just not going to work because you think you're going to go over to those places and change, but nobody likes you guys in general. I don't think that people are going to be able to push away for people that w that you want to allow predators into girls' bathrooms. I'm sorry. I don't think that's going to really fly for a lot of these people. Some Republicans voted against overturning the ban, but there was no debate. The bill still will, the bill will ha head to the Senate for a final vote before landing on Gavin Newsom's desk. The Democratic governor has until October 14th to decide whether to sign it into the law. The governor's office has said he will evaluate the bill on its merits. So, yeah. So, yeah, and this has been going on as well. Increasing penalties from human traffickers. A bill that would increase the penalties for travel, for travel traffickers cleared another key hurdle Monday. The bill, which Newsom sent in to revive it after it was blocked at the Assembly Committee in July, passed the state Senate with a unanimous vote. The bill would add child trafficking to the list of serious felonies in California, and anyone convicted of at least three serious felonies faces a prison sentence of between 25 years to life in prison under the state's three strikes law. Some lawmakers initially opposed the bill because it could inadvertently punish child trafficking victims with lengthy prison penalties. Yeah. I uh, right. So that's a problem. So it would inadvertently punish child victims with lengthy prison penalties. Yes, I think that's a good thing. I think it's a very good idea for people that are, uh, that, um, that, uh, that, uh, you know, Maybe the punishing the uh, um, the child traffickers is a, probably a good idea for having a long, lengthy prison penalties. Yes, because we, we don't want that happening. But Republican State Senator uh, Shannon Grove, the author of the bill, added an amendment to protect victims from the enhanced penalties. Yes, because the victims are totally going to be at the whim of... Uh, are going to be suffering more for their for their attackers, their the monsters that are doing this to them, having a lengthy sentence, right? Because that's the problem. This is the people that are working in California, by the way. We have this: the new rules for concealed carry permits. The California Assembly on Monday voted to ban people from carrying guns in most public places. The new rule comes after a U.S. Supreme Court decision last year how the courts interpret gun laws. California lawmakers tried to pass new rules last year, but they failed because of a tactical error on the final day of the legislative action session. So this year, lawmakers tried again. The bill bans people from carrying weapons in privately owned commercial businesses that are open to the public, unless the business posts a sign saying guns are okay. The bill bans carrying guns in nearly every other public office, uh, public place, including schools, courts, government buildings, prisons, hospitals, hospitals, airports, zoos, commercial zoos, commercial zones, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we are a very heavily gun related state and we have a, a, a huge amount of gun crime. I wonder how that's really going. So, yeah, guys, we're winning here. We're taking the W's. They're scared. They're frightened. And they want to try their very best to try and, you know, get their word out. Which is for you communists, you monsters in sheep's clothing. We're going to keep you from winning. We're, we're pushing back. The people are pushing back. And I know you're scared. More after this, guys. There's some more good news today. Oh, good news today. And I can't, I can't wait to show it to you. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.